You can get the Cinnabar Spindle on the first day of the event. Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? The new event in Genshin in fact has been officially released and well I'm actually genuinely surprised by how much I enjoyed it because <laughs> the previous events weren't that great but this one I actually felt like I was actually engaged in the task at hand whether it was a little bit of questing or a little bit of like activities I somewhat enjoyed it I think they did a pretty good job with this one I don't know if it's the character selection or it's just the activities that we did or dragon spine maybe for some reason <laughs> I really like dragon spine maybe it's the music the atmosphere whatever it may be I felt like they did a really good job with this event and I'm genuinely happy about it and I hope some more events like this appear in the future because I didn't think there was a good event for like a while now and uh, this one actually impressed me the repetition is there but it's not like there's only one thing to do there's a multiple other things and you have to build a snowman i guess um but yeah i definitely think this is a decent event it has many rewards if that's what you guys are into um the quest and some of the storyline about it is sort of interesting to me and i was i felt super engaged and i wanted to learn more i wanted to read more i wanted to just continue on with the story because i actually felt like i was you know getting something out of it um versus just the weird repetition filler type of events uh, even though this one is considered to be a filler event i just generally think it's actually part of the story and i'm actually ha happy about it I'm, I'm enjoying it i'm going through it i see some of the characters i don't usually see such as albedo such as bennett eula and it's um it's actually quite nice and refreshing to see all these uh previous characters come back to life in this new event um obviously us the protagonist i felt like you <laughs> know we're a lot of plays but i feel like it was still enjoyable nonetheless and there's a bunch of challenges for you to do after you complete the initial questing and these challenges allow you to get the new weapon the cinnabar spindle as well as some of its refinement and these are accessible through the shop as well as you know just building the snowman itself for the cinnabar spindle and it's actually a pretty decent weapon and not to mention you can actually get the cinnabar spindle sword on the first day of the actual event and you can also probably get you know a few refinements of it afterwards as well um if you just you know go to the event shop and you can claim some refinements as well you can claim <laughs> two there i'm not sure where you can get the others maybe you have to wait until the trial trophies or something but uh, yeah, I'm not really quite sure where to get the rest of them. You guys want to be leveling up this weapon as soon as you can because you have a 1.5 times XP bonus during the event itself. So make sure you guys do this because you don't want to miss out on that, you know, 50% um, The off, actual basically. events or like the activities that you do or the challenges, I suppose, are pretty fun. I really like doing the agility training with the whole, you know, running around, collecting the coins. <laughs> I felt like it was a little bit refreshing and I feel like that's what I sort of needed from Genshin Impact and events. It sort of reminded me of the Wind Tracer event for some reason and uh, I just really missed that event super super good event it was pretty fun to me and other than the you know the agility training we had the tracker training the tracker training was uh the amber one i think there's already two that you can play and this one was a little unusual uh, i don't think it was that fun necessarily but me trying to look for those ice things uh, got a little uh, out of hand at times <laughs> they hit them in spots that i just wasn't able to see for some reason because it's so white i guess fighting some of the fatu agents that were there was kind of okay too maybe i guess but maybe this one was a little resident sleeper i felt like it wasn't that fun i did enjoy <laughs> the whole uh, aspect of the scarlet are quartz i think it's called for the combat training that one was pretty fun obviously it's just you know hack and slash you just defeat some opponents i felt like the scarlet course didn't really play that big of a role as long as you have like a healer i had bennett so i was pretty much at 70 percent hp all the time so it didn't really matter for me if i was too cold i just swung with eula you know zhongli ultimate 
whatever it is that I needed to do. All in all, I was pretty happy with the event. I actually genuinely enjoyed it. And I feel like more events like this should come out in the future. And we should see characters that we don't, you know, genuinely often see. Because <laughs> I felt more engaged. I actually enjoyed watching the stuff, reading about the quest. And uh, maybe it's the location as well. There's a lot of rewards to be had. So yeah, genuinely, I feel like this was a good event. And Mihoyo did a good job at this. It, yes, I guess it's a little filler, but I'm a, I'm a little okay with that. Uh, not to mention Genshin is, uh, you know, announced or already has announced the new characters coming in that are from Liyue. So now that we have gone to Mondstadt for this event, we're probably going to have an event in Liyue containing these characters. And I genuinely cannot wait to see Shunhe as well as Yunjin. And uh, yeah, that, that thought excites me a bit. And I wonder what kind of content there will be for us to do in the UA. And if the reruns are <coughs> Zhao and Ganyu, I could see that coming. I could see that very much coming. Uh, but yeah, for now, it's all speculation and we'll see what happens in the future. But that's going to be it from me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel. There are over 98% of you guys that aren't subscribed. So if you do subscribe, it'll be appreciated by me. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of this event. Because I genuinely actually enjoyed it. I said genuinely maybe five times in this video. So that should give you a, somewhat of an idea. Anyways, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.